I dropped something. <laughs> so come unprofessional. Put that, so unprofessional. Put that down here. Oh. Can I dash your phone? No. <laughs> Let's talk about a camera, though. Let's do that. OK. Can I take a picture of your phone on the ground? No, we're not throwing my phone on the ground. We're talking about a camera. OK. OK, OK, fine. Well, this camera's <laughs> sharing ability is going to make your drunk pics instant drunk uploads. Ah, uh, yes. Oh. Now your walk of shame can live online. Mm. Kodak swears they have the thinnest camera with a 5X optical zoom. And we're inclined to believe them because of the M590. About the size of a cell phone, this point and shoot packs 14 megapixels and HD video capture for high quality images in any environment. Plus, with the share button, you can easily upload pictures or video to YouTube, Facebook, or any other site using a computer. Hey, thin is in for $140. All right, Kodak is calling the M590 the world's thinnest camera five t with a five times optical zoom, which yes. is actually fairly impressive. Um, it's about half an inch thick. It weighs almost five ounces. It is very compact and actually very sleek looking. Mm -hmm. um, do you like the design? Uh, I don't mind it, actually. Um... You know, first of all, to, to, to camera makers out there, like 14 megapixels, great. Give me seven megapixels and half the size of this camera, and that would be even yeah. more awesome because most people don't take the photos in the highest resolution anyways. But with that said, this camera, pretty light. I was actually surprised at how light it is. It's got a 2.7-inch LCD screen. Uh, it's a Which bright screen. Which is a little screen. smaller than is... Right, then you see around. But they're going for the, the compact camera approach. Oh, sorry. Hey, everybody, there's the camera. Look at that. <laughs> hey. Um, it is a little low resolution, but it's bright, which is nice. It uses micro SD card uh, storage, upgradable to 32 gigs, um, if you fancy. Yeah, and the camera was actually, it was made for sort of beginning to casual users. It's yes. not for the fancy users. Uh, the button interface no. is easy to use. Yeah, this is like the, the digital photography training wheels, basically, and it's easy to use. It boots up quickly, which is nice. Love you that. You can use the shortcut buttons to navigate through menu options. Um, and I like that they give you dedicated buttons for things like trash and flash. Those are pretty much the two things you're going to... Because how often are you, like, scrolling through your, through your menu and, like, changing right. the flash Delete, to... Delete, are you sure? Yeah. Yes. And then, oh, flash, auto, off, whatever. Just press the button, people. It's there. <laughs> um, the D-pad uh, and the buttons, uh, they feel a little cheap and a little plasticky to some. Yeah. I didn't mind them. I mean, it's, it's supposed to be a, a, a budget camera, so why not? Right, totally. Now, the M590 has smart capture feature, mm -hmm. uh, which is great for beginners, of course, but... Are the settings adjustable at all? Or? Yeah, you're not locked into okay. to too much. The smart capture option will determine the proper settings for you. Thank you, camera. Um, you can also select different shooting scenes, such as outdoors, night, action shots, West Hollywood right there. Um, you can also make basic adjustments to the ISO, the exposure, and the sharpness. So you can tweak it to your heart's desire. Now, the Easy Share application allows you to quickly upload your photos. Mm -hmm. Dangerous. Very, yeah, very dangerous. Is it simple to destroy your life and privacy online? Uh, they it make it incredibly easy to ruin oh, a career. Oh, good. Well, here's the thing. First, you actually need to download the camera's pre-installed Kodak software to your computer. Mm. Um, some people aren't a fan of that, but it does work. You can tag your friends via face detection. Um, it can do it for you. You can do it automatically. And once you choose which photos and videos you want to share, the next time you sync your camera to the computer, it automatically uploads those photos to your Facebook, Flickr, email, Grindr, other social networking accounts. Um, it's a nice feature to have. But you can probably send photos just as quickly yourself, to be honest. But, you know, for the moms of the world, fantastic. And we'd like to see Wi-Fi connectivity. I mean, that'd be sweet if you got near your computer and it shared, again, the photos you selected you select. to share. As long as it's very clear about what you're sharing. And yeah. also, realistically, does everybody on your Facebook, do all of your Facebook friends want to see every single picture that you took at your the kids' no, birthday party last night? No, but I'm going to post night? them on their wall anyways, you jerks. <laughs> Look at all my photos, and you oh. better like them. Um, no, right. the, the ones you tag that you like. I mean, yeah. there's no like breathalyzer to make sure you're in a, in a proper situation for tagging. But that would be hilarious. That would be sweet. Yeah. All right, it shoots 14 megapixel images, mm -hmm. which are huge. Has a five times zoom. The quality, the picture quality, how does that rate? Yeah, obviously important for a camera, and it's great for its size. Pictures look sharp, colors are vibrant, and daylight. Look at that daylight photo. Ooh. Little, some, Ooh. some hazy, some washed out, but. You can, they're pots, fix you get it, it. Fix it in post. Uh, the, yes, exactly. The 5X zoom is nice. It takes decent mm -hmm. photos depending upon the lighting. Uh, in dark settings, 
There's a, there's a touch of grain. That man didn't have a beard. That was all grain. Um, other than that, uh, look, it works. It's a camera. And it shoots 720p, so video? It does shoot 720p video. Um, that won't be the primary usage for this right. thing. It looks decent. Uh, in daylight, our standard turtle pond footage, uh, which is the benchmark of photographers across the world. I love the turtle pond footage. Uh, I know. It's so relaxing and nice. It shows a, a bit of grain and digital noise. Yeah. Uh, same for darker settings. Overall, it's not that bad. Yeah. All right, well, you can get this camera actually for $140. So is it a buy or is it a don't buy? Morgan, at that price, camera's a buy. Can't beat that buy. Can't beat the price. It's got a sleek and compact design, good picture and video quality. The easy share works. Again, we wish it were Wi-Fi enabled, but hey, it's a good camera.